Hello, and welcome to Orchestra's how-to series. Today, we're going to be talking about the inventory and warehouse report and how to utilize its different uh, search parameters. So let's dig right into the information. And as you'll see, we have our inventory and warehouse report selection criteria. And what we can do is we can um, limit the what we view in the inventory based on item codes or based upon the vendor who sells it. So if we've defined, you know, these inventory items are always purchased from a select vendor or vendor range, um, or excuse me, or a range of vendors, we can uh, select by that. So in this warehouse, in this database, I have four warehouses. I can choose to hide items with no quantity in stock. I'm going to do that. And in terms of my price source, this is where people really get hung up. And the price source allows you to do you know, kind of a what-if analysis if my inventory was priced in such a manner. For example, if, you know, what is the actual sales revenue potential of all my inventory? I can do that by saying, okay, well, based on my base price list, what is my inventory values? Um, and a lot of people want to be able to see this, and they want a real quick breakdown, but they want to see cost. Um, and it's not real clear how to do this, but it is possible. And the trick is the last evaluated price. So what the last evaluated price does is it takes the current cost in your inventory as of the last time you ran the inventory audit report. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to update my costs. Um, actually, I'm not. I'm going to run this two times. First, I'm just going to say, okay, show me last evaluated price. And we see we've got a grand total of 108,998.84. And now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to purchase um, some inventory, which would change my moving average. Now, I don't want to purchase goods receipt. I want a goods receipt PO. And I'm just going to select uh, Jeff Globes. And we're going to purchase an item that I don't use too often. But actually, I should make sure that I choose one that does have inventory in stock, so it will be affecting this report. Um, let's do our batch item. This is my testable batch item. And we're going to do a quantity of 500 items at a unit price, not five, but $75. Tax code of zero. We say add batch number uh, cost test and update. So we've just added this batch item and now if we were to uh, rerun this report we will see that the price selected for the batch item is still five dollars which is not correct anymore. So what we do is we run the inventory audit report. What this report does is update um, the current moving average as of the last evaluated price. So we run our audit report from the end of time to today. Everything looks good. Now we run this one more time. And now we see that the batch item has a item price of 63.33. This is the current moving average price for this item and the total inventory value has been updated accordingly. So, if you have any questions, please feel free to give me a call, 559-477-4256, uh, or visit us on the web at www.orchestrateam.com. We look forward to hearing from you, and have a great day. Bye-bye.